Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some cloudy skies out there earlier. Saw a nice snowfall last night across the region, seeing 4.5 inches of snow at Wallops. Most of the locations south of Salisbury seeing anywhere from about 2 to 5 inches of snow. And even some locations in Salisbury saw up to 2.5 inches last night. So a good little snowfall across the region. Going to see some continued unsettled conditions across the region. As we move into the next few days with multiple chances of rainfall as well as some freezing drizzle, especially away from the coast for the next few days. So looking at our sounding, we have a freezing level at 4,000 feet. Northeasterly winds, the low levels at 25 knots. And seeing winds become more southeasterly at 3,000 feet than up. In the calm, we see the winds become more westerly and increase fairly uniformly this morning, seeing a peak wind at 25,000 feet out of the west-southwest at 79 knots. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, we have this area low pressure. It's currently across the southeast states, an area high pressure north of that. We were able to get that snowfall last night as this area high pressure built down, giving us that colder air mass and some overrunning precipitation with an area low pressure off the Carolinas that provided us, provided us excuse me, with that snowfall across the region last night. So taking a quick look at our radar imagery this morning, you can see we do have a band of uh, some light to moderate snowfall currently across the uh, Princess Anne area north of the Wobbs region, but could see a few sleet pellets or some uh, snowflakes coming down and next hour or so across the Wild region, not expecting any additional accumulation in the Wild region. Could see a quick uh, additional coating in the area near Princess Anne or uh, just north of Wild. But overall, this will be the last of the snowfall from this event. Can't rule out some drizzle as we move into the afternoon hours uh, today, and especially as we move into the evening hours tonight. So taking a look at our HER model for the next... Uh, 48 hours or so. This is uh, going to show the possibility of some freezing drizzle, especially inland away from the coast for this afternoon as temperatures struggle to get above freezing. Once we move into tonight, going to see a band, better chance of some showers across the region once we move into after dawn and uh, seeing that better chance, I should say, after dawn tomorrow with the uh, possibility of some freezing drizzle away from the coast inland. The HER here is a bit warmer than uh, most other models and uh, I'm going to continue to monitor that. You do have to drive tomorrow morning in the Salisbury area north of there. So you do uh, plan some extra time as we could have some slippery roadways in that region. Across the wild region, just going to be plain rain by tomorrow morning uh, with uh, that snowfall really melting across the region. Once we move into Saturday afternoon and evening, you can see that continued stream of moisture. This is uh, late Saturday evening across the region, so it looks like a fairly dreary day across the region for Saturday, as well as some chilly temperatures. You can see that finally moves out of the region by Sunday morning with a possibility of some lingering rain showers Sunday morning. So taking a look at the European model real quick, uh, this is going to show a very similar solution, a bit more uh, freezing drizzle or light freezing rain uh, tomorrow morning on the Euro, mainly away from the coast. So moving to Saturday evening, that's going to continue uh, to allow for us to see those showers across the region. And then additional disturbance moving through for Monday morning. And then you can see the pattern just continues to show multiple waves of energy moving along the southeast coast up into the northeast states, giving us multiple chances of rainfall. Looks like after Monday, our next best chance would be Tuesday afternoon into uh, Tuesday evening. The Euro here really bringing in the area low pressure, deepening it, and uh, bringing it farther west than most models. So Euro has this very warm on Tuesday, uh, and expecting the rollout for Tuesday for Antares. Could be a uh, another wet rollout, as we'll have uh, some rain showers in here on Tuesday morning. Uh, and we'll continue to monitor where this low tracks, and that will uh, determine the temperature on Tuesday as well. For our Wednesday, finally one day without any chances of precipitation across the region before. Another system moves in for Thursday and into early Friday. Uh, the European here has it a little bit colder uh, for our Thursday and Friday with this low moving farther off the coast. Other models have this low tracking farther inland. 
I kind of agree with the inland track for our uh, Thursday and Friday and just uh, plain rainfall, no chances of uh, wintery precipitation, but we'll continue to monitor this system as there is a plentiful cold air mass in the central United States that could move into the region. So looking at our risk chart for today, slight chance of those uh, sleep pellets or a few wet snowflakes this morning. Otherwise, just going to keep that slight chance of uh, some drizzle or light rainfall throughout the forecast today. A high around 36 today, a low tonight of 32, and then a better chance of rainfall once moving to Saturday morning, especially after dawn. The temperature's rising in the mid-30s by 8 a.m. Saturday morning. See those ceilings as well, possibly below 500 feet this evening into the overnight hours. Our winds will be out of the northeast today, 8 to 13 knots, possibly gusting up as high as 19 to 20 knots. And uh, by tomorrow morning, should see a little bit breezier conditions with that uh, additional area low pressure moving closer to the region, a gust to 21 knots. Our 24-hour terminal forecast is going to see that uh, rain shower or drizzle today across the region. Uh, only about a 20% chance of seeing that. Uh, then we'll move into the evening hours, uh, additional chances of some freezing drizzle as temperatures drop back down near freezing at Wallops, and then they should rise after about four local uh, Saturday morning at Wallops, should be above freezing thereafter with just a chance of some rain showers. And looks like tomorrow morning we'll see some low clouds in here, uh, ceilings around 500 feet with some light rain in the region. Our tides are slightly above normal, and looking at Saturday and Sunday for the weekend, looks like a dreary weekend across the region. Saturday, cloudy with rain showers likely, slightly breezy, high of 40. Saturday night, overcast, rain showers likely, low of 36. And for Sunday, cloudy with rain showers, chance of rain showers, high of 45. Looks like uh, those conditions for Saturday and Saturday night for the rainfall look like near 100%. And for Sunday, looks like a slightly lower chance with the possibility of those rain showers just being in the morning. Models are still in a disagreement with the timing of that short wave or that disturbance moving through for Sunday. So continue to monitor that, but looks like uh, best chance would be in the morning on Sunday. And then our ceilings throughout Saturday and Sunday will be low, and that will give us those dreary conditions with uh, cloudy skies, uh, not expecting any sunshine for the weekend. So for the next seven days, looking like after Sunday, we'll have those a.m. showers on Monday, high at 46. Uh, Tuesday looks like a high around 50. Best chance of rainfall comes Tuesday morning, then additional chance Tuesday afternoon. As I mentioned, the European model is um, showing that track of the low a bit farther to the west. And if that were the case on uh, Tuesday, we would see the highs in the upper 50s. Right now, keeping it in the lower 50s uh, with the uncertainty of that track of the low. But it does look like the rain showers are likely Tuesday morning. For Wednesday, we'll have finally some sunshine moving the region, looks like with a high of 45 degrees. And then for Thursday, keeping a temperature in the mid 40s right now, 75% chance of some rainfall across the region. Um, can't rule out a cooler solution or a warmer solution right now as that track of the low is very uncertain. Well, that's gonna complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day and a great weekend. We'll be back Tuesday morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.